Hey guys, what's up? This is Adam for FXD79.com. Got a really cool After Effects tutorial for you today. Um, but first, I, I know I gave a shout out to him in my last tutorial, but uh, Pitchwise's site, or uh, YouTube account, just got suspended, um, and he lost over the 1,000 subscribers that he had, um, which is terrible. But he started up a new account, uh, YouTube.com slash PitchwiseTV. So, uh, if you were subscribed to him, or even if you weren't, make sure you go here and subscribe, um, and help him get some of his subscribers back, because that kind of stuff just really stinks. It's, it's terrible. Um, so, youtube.com slash TV. And, uh, alright, so let's jump into the tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a, uh, really realistic, uh, muzzle flash in After Effects. Um, I have my footage here, and, um... Let's see, I just had a cut. There we go. Um, okay, so, um, I've seen a lot of videos where people have uh, really just uh, bad muscle flashes. They don't really look realistic and everything. Um, and uh, so I'm going to show you how to create a realistic one. Now I know um, once um, I have a real, like, realistic gun, but I actually couldn't find it when I needed it actually to do something, um, which is of course how everything works, and as soon as I upload this to YouTube, I'm going to find it sitting right next to me or something like that, but for now I'm using a Nerf gun, so that takes away from some of the realism, but uh, we should be able to work around it, um, since we're just focusing on visual effects right now. Um, you guys can just imagine a real gun there, and uh, make sh I'll make sure I get another one out with me using that realistic one so it looks good. But you're just going to need a video of you pretending to shoot a gun. And um, I also have some elements from After Effects, uh, um, action, ele action, wow, action essentials from videocopilot.com. Um, these are from number two, but um, if you don't have action essentials, you can go to, um, da -da 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 -da. Um, you can just go to Google here and search for detonation films free. And um, you can go to this page, and they have all kinds of awesome stuff. I'll have the link in the description. I I'll even have a zip folder that has all this stuff in it for you guys. Um, and so you can create uh, muzzle flashes with that. Uh, or you can just create your own. There are tons of tutorials on YouTube. I'll probably put one up soon on how to create your own muzzle flash. But for now, I'm going to be using this one right here because it's pre-made for me, and I don't really have to make one. Um, you can see what it looks like. It's a little bit big. But, uh, yeah. So... We're just going to position, we're going to find the spot where I start to, um, blow back the gun a little bit. So right about there. Alright, so, um, again, page up and page down, go for three the frames, and then we'll just match this up with that spot. And hit W to rotate. Rotate. And flip it around like that move it into place. We can make it a little bit smaller. It's a little bit large. Uh, right there should be good. And then I have a cork hit from the Action, action Essentials too. I can't talk today. Um, so we'll move that into place. And you can see it's just this kind of debris. So I like to put that a little bit after the muzzle flash. Um, we can also animate this a little bit because it's not animated in Action Essentials 2, which is a little bit odd. They do have animated ones in number one, but I don't really like those as much. So, um, I don't know why they didn't animate them, but they look a lot cooler without it, or with it. <laughs> so we'll just move this up a little bit, and that should be fine. And I like to have the debris come in around right here. Maybe on the last frame of the... Uh, the Muscle Flash is two frame song, by the way. Maybe on the last frame, and we just have some kind of that smoke and stuff. Which looks really awesome. Um, so the Muscle Flash is done. And this is what usually people stop at. But you really need to make it better. Uh, usually people don't even have debris or anything like that. But basically what we're going to do is duplicate this layer, which is the video layer. And go to Effect. Color Correction. And uh, we can use levels is fine. 
Um, but you're just going to crank it up so it's really like white. Not that much. Um, so you just have a little bit of that glow. And um, also, while well, that takes forever to load. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. It always does this, I don't even know. Like, always, it's too lazy to load the effects before I get in. Um, so you can just kind of mess through these. Um, curves is a good one to have. You can mess around with this, with the RGB, and just make kind of a lightness, but also add some, like, curves into it. So that should be good. Uh, don't make it too grainy. Yeah, this a little bit, okay. I'm just going to throw in a little bit, bit of red, because I like it that way. Um, looks a little bit better, I think. And then, we're going to also just change this so that it it's only starts around the place where the gun is fired. And maybe stays till about a few frames after. So, alt... Alt uh, right bracket to end to close that, and then we're gonna draw some mass on it. Um, make sure the layer is selected that you want to use, and then just use the pen tool. We're gonna just grab me right here, and then also my head. Part of my hand would also be illuminated. This door over here will actually uh, use the ellipse and just illuminate this part right here. And now we're going to have all these masks down here. I'm just going to uh, grab all of them. Click the first one, hold shift, click the last one, and it will select all of them. And just turn the feather way up. So now you can see, if we turn off the mass, the uh, sphere needs to be a little bit more feathered. But basically just play around with it until you find what looks good for you. Um, I might actually add a little bit more up here, at the top of the door, and again, feather that. and looks about good to me um, but you might want to shorten this a little bit I think it's a little bit too long but we have that and it just cuts off Get it one more frame so it's just about as long as the muzzle flash and we have kind of a realistic um, simulation of what it would illuminate and really make the uh, shot interact with what's what's going on around it which is a really good thing to have, it makes it look a lot realistic, a lot more realistic. And even if you can't get it perfect, it's only two frames, and the person will realize that it is, it'll look like it is in the room, and it's creating that kind of glowy effect. So, let's see, I'll render it out and then we can watch it. So that's pretty awesome. and. Uh, Make sure you guys go subscribe to Pitchwise and check out the rest of my videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.